Welcome back. Now we are going to learn important concepts of min and max. But to do that, what we'll do is we'll create a new table, right? These are customers who are ordering some information. And in this customer table, all I have is name, address, city, postal code, and country. So I'm going to create a new table called product table. And we'll only insert five records in it. You are seeing the image on your screen. Uh, so let's go ahead with that. Okay. So if you remember creating table requires create command, create table, you need the name of the table. So I'm going to call it product. Uh, then we need to specify the column names. So I am going to call uh, the first column should be a uh, product ID. which is an int and it's also going to be a primary key. The next one is going to be the name, which is going to be varchar and I'm going to just say it's 50 uh, characters long. And then the last one is going to be the price, which is going to be the int and I'm going to close this. And now all I have to do is run this command. So let's do this. So when I run this, a new table is created. And again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this refresh button. So when I hit this refresh button, you see there's a new table called product, which has three columns. Now if I, let's clear this. And if I say select star from product and I hit this, there's no information in there, right? So now we will be inserting data. So let's do insert. into product values. What values do we need? We need one comma watch comma 500. If I run this one value has been inserted. So I'm going to change this to laptop and change this to 1000. Let's run this. Awesome. Let's do three is going to be mouse, which is for $30. So let's run this command. Four is for computer, which is priced at $2,000. And then finally, I have television. Which is priced at 1500. Okay, so let's run this. And we have inserted five records into this table. So I'm going to clear this and simply type in select star from product and I am going to run this command and you will see that we have five records in this particular table. But I don't know what minimum value is now. Sure, we only have five records and you can quickly find what the minimum value is. But remember in the real world, your data is going to consist of thousands and ten thousands and millions of records. And it's going to be impossible to find the uh, the minimum or the maximum value. So what you do to find minimum or maximum value is use the min max command, which is very, very straightforward to use. Uh, the, the, the syntax for that would be, uh, so we need minimum price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. We need min price. Min is a keyword which stands for minimum from from what from table right from table product and I can go here and click on run and when I do that I get the price of 30 now similarly if I do max and I run this I will get price of 2000 that's all there is building upon the concepts of the previous video you can also find average sum and count so average is going to give you an average value so let's uh, type in select star from product and hit run 
And when I do this, I get this information, right? But I can't calculate average unless I key in every value in calculator and divide it by the number of records. And who has time for this when we can simply write a SQL command? So the, the way you write SQL command is you type in the keyword AVG, which is average. So I need average price from product and I'm going to click on run. And this is going to be my average price. Now, similarly, if I want to sum, right, you may want to identify the total value of all the products sold in a, in a, in a particular year, total revenue. When you want to do that, you want to sum, you know, total count or total uh, price or total quantities. So to do that again, it's a simple keyword sum, right? Sum is nothing but addition of value. So when I do this and I click on execute, we know the total sum of all product prices is equal to 5030. And if you don't believe me, just add it in your calculator and you will see that the value matches. Okay. So let's go back and type in select star from customer. Now, if I want to find out total number of records in this customer, right? Uh, again, typical example is you have a big data set, which has millions and millions of rows and you want to identify total number of products or total number of customers. The way to do that is, you say select count ID. Uh, actually it's customer ID. So let's change that from customer and I'm going to click on this. Now when I do that, I get 16. Now you're probably wondering why did I select customer ID? Now here's the thing. Now I'm going to erase this or actually do control X select star from customer and then click on execute. Now, if I were to do select country from customer, what do you think the output is going to be? The output in this case is still going to be 16. And I'll tell you exactly why, because the count only counts the number of rows. It does not count distinct values in a particular row. And that's something that we're going to cover in the next video. But let's execute this command so that you see the output. All right. So here you got 16. Again, it's just counting the number of rows. So whenever you are doing a, a plain count, just use things like IDs and so on. That way uh, you get the actual result. Because if you had said, hey, there are 16 countries in this data set, that's actually not the right answer. You only have three countries, which is United States, India, and Canada. Okay. Uh, select if you wanted to identify how many customers you have select count ID from customer will give you the right information. Now in the next video, we'll learn about distinct and we'll understand the importance of distinct using this exact query. And I'll show you how to find distinct number of countries, distinct number of cities in your data set.